All right, so we're driving helical piles today and we've had our fair share of issues this morning. Our machine wouldn't hook up uh, to the hydraulic lines very well, so we had to figure that out. And then we lost the power head because our plate doesn't mate up with the mounting plate of the driver very well. I got too close to a 90 degree and then the thing just tipped over and then it crashed back down onto the machine. So we got that figured out now. So we've got one pile in, we got six more to go. I think we got this figured out. So why don't you stick around and see how we do, but this might take us all day. So I don't care, as long as we get these piles in the ground today, we're ahead of the game. That's the first thing we're gonna do. We're just gonna take our time do it right and be safe. And then once we get these things dr driven uh, as far down as we can, we're hitting pressure early. So this ground is really hard, a lot of rocks, and I'm trying to drive these as deep as I can. We're using a nine foot metal extension as the posts for this deck. So uh, stick around and see how, that's gonna be interesting. Check our shorts out as you will get more information quicker, more time lapses and things like that. Since I'm having such a rough day, make it easy on me, man, and click that subscribe button, will ya? I really appreciate it. Thank you. Do unless well, we, I think it's better to move on this than on day on this one pilot. Right, I agree. We've been here for almost two hours. I know. Well, an hour probably. I mean, yeah. But yeah, let's get this one. Let's get this one plumb, and let's go ahead and move to the next one. Okay. Okay, and I'll just keep. I'll keep my distance. See, when I'm when I'm further away like this, it seems to work better, and the plate stays tighter, and then we won't lose it and dent up with the machine and. So hopefully this one goes in easier. Okay, let me try let me try something. If I'm wrong, okay. then we'll we'll try something else. got to go this way so i put it i took it too far i took it too far because now the bottom has to go this way to get it level so i'm trying man i told you it's 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 tricky
we don't even have to take the dirt out of the hole. We just need to give it a place to sit. We're hitting 1,500 to 2,000 foot pounds of torque, which equates to uh, three to 4,000 pounds per square inch. We're just trying to take our time and make sure that we get these things driven. We have to drill them at least four feet deep to code. So we're, we're hitting that, but we're not getting much deeper than that. Um, things are just sitting here and spinning and we're hitting our torque. So we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing and hopefully finish driving these piles in the ground so that we can start building this deck. Have a problem getting these on too. Regardless, once boy, how are we gonna get these on? We're probably just gonna have to take a grinder and clean these up. Theoretically, I wonder if I should hook this back up and try to spin it over a little bit. What the heck? If these don't fit, what are we gonna do? Do we want to hook the head back up to it and try to spin it over? I don't think the sledgehammer is gonna do it. We could try. I mean, if we dent it, if we dent it up, then it's not good. Extensions aren't really fitting on top of the post very well. Really? Yeah. So yeah. hopefully we can figure that out because that could be another nightmare. You got the, fat, the fat part goes on first? The, the fat part goes on first. But see, see, we got one in the ground. We find, we got one to go all the way in, but we tried to put, I just tried to put one of those on there and it, it's not fitting very well. WB40? Maybe. That's what I was thinking. Put some lubricant on there. And all right, so cut those for that. I need them, I need them straight too. So We got to figure out these. Let's try that. Let's, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. And maybe a grinder and we can grind the edges a little. Well, it's not all the way on though, right? I'm just wondering if we should try to fab these on or if we should just try to figure out the measurement and get it cut and then wiggle it on. So actually, you're technically not gonna be, we just, we just gotta put a two two buys or something over here to hold the back side of the. Yeah. Thirty, say thirty-eight. So, so we're gonna be. So I'm gonna say it's gonna sit down six inches. That gives us an eighth of play, which is good. I'm just saying, I'm trying to make this easy for you guys. So if you measure from here, you're not trying to measure from a, a you know, a welded spot or something. You're measuring right from the flat. So I gotta add five and seven eighths to this measurement because that's where it's gonna sit. So I should make it five and three quarters because a little bit of drainage is good. T 
to justify elevation of the deck and to figure out where everything goes and heights and all that, we had to install our ledger boards first, or we'd like to install our ledger boards first, so there's no guessing. Like once those ledgers are attached and installed, I know exactly where the height of the deck is gonna be. So this is a new product that we've been using called Outdoor Aluminum Framing. All of it, the whole frame system, except for the beams on this particular job are gonna be aluminum. The first thing we did was we installed our aluminum ledger boards on the house and we had to do a specific fastening pattern because all the old joists kicked out through the house. There was no posts or beams on this deck originally. So this time we had to cut all that stuff back because we're gonna extend the deck out more and we're doing posts and beams. Now our posts are gonna be three inch galvanized steel posts that we're attaching to our helical piles. So the helical piles have been cut to elevation. Now we're cutting down all of our posts to install those to the helical piles. We're gonna get it all to height. That's what this elevation stick's all about and why we have a laser set up over here. And then we're gonna start installing those all over this area here. And I have to go run and get some bolts uh, to finish up the install, but the guys are gonna start cutting this stuff down and we're making it happen. All right, so what I'm doing, I have my laser spinning over there and I have a receiver and I have an elevation stick and there's many, many, many different ways to do this. This is just how I'm doing it, okay? So I'm taking my uh, receiver and I'm gonna find the laser when it's a solid beep instead of a random beep or a intermittent beep. I'm at the height I need to be at. There it is. So I'm gonna mark the side of my elevation stick like that. And then I'm gonna measure that measurement and I'm gonna add it to the magic number. The magic number is a number that I have decided I need the top of the post to be at minus the thickness of the beam that is gonna be installed on top of the post. So I have that magic number. So I'm just gonna go over here real quick and set this somewhere where I can measure it. Take my tape I measure that. So I have 67 and 3 eighths. So I'm gonna take 67 and 3 eighths, 67 inch and 3 eighths, plus my magic number, which is 38 and 5 eighths. That never changes. 38 inch and 5 eighths equals 106 inches. So I know that this post from the base has to be 106 inches. So I'm gonna go back over here and pull that top off, mark 106, so that Thomas knows where to cut that to height. And then I'll go to the next post and do the same thing. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you got something out of today's video. And if you did, the only thing I ask is that you click that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified when we're putting out new content. Don't forget to take a look at our shorts. Uh, we put a lot of effort into those as well and gives you a different kind of a look at our daily in and out of what we're doing here. And leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about these helical piles. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.